So hi everybody, um, it's Suzanne the Crazy Blonde and I just wanted to show you a few of my leopard coats and some of my boots. I have so many pairs of booties, I maybe have a little bit of an obsession. Um, my obsession with leopard is not quite the same, but I do have several jackets that I love to wear. And um, I'm gonna start off with what I have on because I love to wear stripes and I love to wear t-shirts. They're soft and comfortable, they go anywhere. You can just throw on a jacket over them and you're set to go. And I know it's not the most glamorous thing in the world, but if you have a really good feeling um, t-shirt, it is so comfortable. So this one is a striped t-shirt I got from Rebecca and Company in Greensboro, North Carolina. So if you're local, you'll probably know that shop and they have the cutest things. And now they have an online shop so you can go online and buy some of their merchandise. But anyway, back to the clothes. Um, these jeans also came from Rebecca and Company. They are a crop jean, but they're not a flare. Um, I am short. I am 5'4", probably. And um, so I do like to wear crop jeans. I like to wear crop jeans for the most part because I don't have to hem them and they don't bunch up around my ankles. So um, on anybody that was any taller, these would come up a little more, but these little booties have, um, they kind of come up a little bit on my ankles. So I don't have any exposed skin and they're black, they're rag and bone. I've probably had them for four or five years and they're great. They're suede and they just go with everything. So I love these. And I'm gonna put on this leopard coat with this shirt. The, um, you could wear this one. This one would be fine too. This one's brown. This one has a little more black in it. And um, I think black and brown are great together. So just for the first outfit, this is great for a day like today. It is cold, it is raining, it is miserable. And if I needed to go somewhere, I would have a hood and be nice and warm. And my shoes are great for not so great weather. So anyway, on to the next outfit. I'm just gonna mix and match some things and show you all how I would do it. And I am, I've had people ask, I'm a size 25 in jeans and again, short, so probably a, a zero or a two in a top, um, an extra small for sure. So those are my sizes and moving right along. Okay, I'm back with another outfit and this one I would totally wear to a casual Thanksgiving dinner. Um, I love everything about it. Again, it's from Rebecca and Company. The sweater is just so cute and soft and I have on these great black jeans. They are the perfect length for me and they have the little grommets at the bottom and a little slit. Um, I have them on with some YSL boots that I've had for two seasons now and they are really amazing suede boots. They have a beautiful classic heel and I think they, they elevate any outfit. But I will say that I have boots from everywhere. These are from Zara and I've probably had them for 10 years and I still wear them all the time, probably more than almost any other pair. These I got last year from Zara, $12 and I think they're so cute. So I'm gonna show you a few more outfits, but um, I will link all of the pieces that are new. My earrings are Chan Lu and they are great. I'll link the sweater, all the things that are new and then similar to all the things that um, previously came from my closet. So just going back to this coat, I would totally throw this on over this, the brown one, this one, just to run out. I think leopard is really definitely a neutral and would be great with several of these coats. So um, one more thing I wanna show you. Um, these Tory Burch boots, they look like a classic riding boot. They are, I know they're at least 10 years old and they still look almost brand new. They will never go out of style. I'll always keep them and wear them. And I love to wear a pair of boots like that with um, just a white blouse. This is the white cotton blouse from Anthropology. I've had it for forever. Um, and I would put on just a cute J. Crew crew neck sweater and have a really classic outfit with a pair of dark wash jeans. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, you know, some boots are an investment, but if you keep them forever and you wear them, they're definitely worth it. So I'm back with um, another kind of investment thing. These black leather pants are by J Brand and I know this is the fifth season that I've worn them. I wear them from um, 
in the spring, I wear them in the fall, and I wear them in the winter. And I have on one of my favorite pairs of boots. These are Brian Atwood. They are so tall. So now I'm about 5'7", five 5'8". Seven, five and um, I really love the, the heel height, but they're not the easiest to walk in, but surprisingly comfortable. And I have them on with a cute little lacy blouse again that I got from Rebecca, Rebecca and Company. My earrings are also, um, again, Chin Lu, and they're so cute. And I don't think I need a whole lot. So this is um, an outfit that I would wear to a cocktail party. And um, again, you know, my boots are really five or six years old. I wore them, um, for Thanksgiving in New York, and just, I love these boots and I'll never get rid of them. And even though they were somewhat expensive, I think they were definitely worth the price. So I'm gonna put on this fine leopard coat that is actually from Topshop. So I am really mixing the high and low right now, and I love the way this looks. It's just a fun outfit, and, um, there you have another one. So I'm gonna keep going and just show you a few more ways that I would style some of these other boots. Okay, so I'm back with another outfit and this one is a little bit of a diversion from the others that were black. And um, I am wearing some really fun hiking boots. They're C by Chloe and I got them last season and I really think that they're fun for anything casual. And this sweater is the color of the moment. It's everywhere. And I really love this sweater. It's a great length. And these jeans, I have a little story. They're old and uh, they're J brand. And I was gonna get rid of them the other day. And I thought, why? I like everything about them except for they're too long. So I got out my scissors and I trimmed off about two inches and I might trim off another inch, but they still fit me really well. I love the way they hit me on my hips and there's no reason to get rid of them. So I just cut them off. Uh, you could have them hemmed, but um, for the most part, I think everything's frayed right now and it just fits right in. So that was my solution. And I'm gonna take this cute little brown. Um, this is by Velvet several seasons old. I think it's a great look with um, the hiking boots and the burnt orange sweater. And this is my next look. So I'm gonna keep pulling out booties and just show you a few more outfits. And I wish I was live so you could ask me questions, but we'll do that next time. Okay, I'm back with one more outfit. Um, this is a pair of really dark gray jeans. They have the cute stripe up the side, and I'm wearing them with my um, snakeskin um, block heel Seychelles booties, and I've got a polka dot sweater from Madewell on with them. And um, I would draw the line with the leopard here. I would not wear leopard with this, but um, I really think this is a cute outfit, and the pattern mixing is great. But you could totally take, um, if you were feeling really festive, the red boots and pair them with this outfit as well. So um, I'm just gonna talk about a few other things that I think are cute together and then show you one last outfit. And I hope this has been helpful and um, I'll throw on a few more of the coats so you can see how I'll style them. So this last outfit is a really great um, coat that I've had again for years from Nanette Lepore and um, you can wear it so many different ways. I really think it's so cute that I just like to wear it as an outfit and leave it on and just have a black turtleneck on under it. But you can just um, turn down the collar, you can completely button it up, you could leave it unbuttoned. And I have on these little sock booties from Zara with it with um, some black skinny jeans. And the only thing I really don't like about it is just like a higher heel because I'm short. Um, or maybe even a, a completely flat look. So, but I think that the mix of patterns is really fun and um, just try things and see how you like them. So I'm gonna change, I'm gonna put on two different pairs of boots with this coat so you can kind of see what it looks like and then throw on another coat to show those two. Okay. Okay, this is another look with these with this coat. And these boots make me feel so much better because they have a great heel on them. They are 
almost over the knee, tall Stuart Weitzman boots. Um, my daughter calls them my hoochie mama shoes, but I really love them. I wore them to um, a concert not long ago and I stood the whole time. They're very comfortable. And again, an investment boot, but I will keep these forever. You know, the same thing with these coats. Um, if you buy things you love, even if they're not expensive, you end up keeping them and loving them and wearing them. So I wanna show you one more pair of boots. I'm getting a little disheveled. I've changed clothes so many times. Um, and this coat I got from J. Crew last season. It's a little heavier than a couple of the others and it feels more like a big roomy coat. So it's very cozy and comfortable. And I left on the black jeans um, and they are a little longer than I like them to be, but I just kind of let them bunch at my ankle. Um, you could roll them up if you wanted to be neat about it. Um, and just let them, let them hit that way, whatever look you like. And I have this on with some red rag and bone booties that I got a couple years ago at Christmas. And I just love these boots. Rag and bone is probably one of my favorite brands. They just fit me. Tory Burch is the same way. So um, I have several pairs of rag and bone and Tory Burch. And this is just part of my booty collection, but um, I'll never get rid of them until they wear out. So I hope that this has been helpful um, for you guys. And please, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if there's anything else you wanna see, I'd love to know about it. So you can leave me a comment in the box below. And um, also check out my blog, Crazy Blonde Life, and I'll have links um, for everything that I've worn or similar pieces at the bottom of the video. All right, thanks for watching.